Hey man, we're recording. <sighs> Filming things with the camera is weird, is weird, is weird. Look at the lens or look at the thing. Start the video, stop talking, stop using your hands. Mm. I get asked lots of questions about me moving to Spain because I moved from London um, to Madrid in January. And here's some of the answers that I give all the time because, hey, I just wanted to make a video and compile it all together. So let's begin with number one. I don't really need to do that if there's a, if I'm gonna edit it after, yeah. I moved to Spain because I'd studied Spanish at university um, as an extra course. So I had like two hours a week and it's great, it's good. You learn a basis, you learn how to, to make sentences, I like to run, I like to swim. Clearly don't like to run, clearly can't swim, I'm black. So, what happened? I made lots of friends, um, Spanish friends and South American friends, and they just basically told me about life. They told me about life in Spain and, and South America. Um, the culture, the food, the way of life, and I was really interested. So my initial idea was come here for three months and see how it goes. And now I've been here for seven. I don't think I'm going back. Um, life here is great. I'm, I'm loving life. The quality of life is much better here, for me at least, um, and I'm really enjoying it. So I guess when it stops being fun is when I'll come home. Yet yeah, there is a crisis and unlike most people think, people are getting on with their lives. Um, what's the difference between home, I guess the UK and here? The main difference is that people are just studying more. So you're more likely to meet somebody with two degrees and a master's at, without a job, but they're obviously studying to, to, to be able to obtain one. Um, whereas in the UK, we generally kind of just do a degree and say, right, I guess I'll work for a little bit now. Um, yes, there's more competition competition and lower paid jobs. But people get on with their lives. People are having a great time. People aren't angry and frustrated. They're angry and frustrated at the government, but they're not angry people. Um, they're great people, especially at night. Then there's a little change and you think, hey, there is no crisis here. It's because everyone's loving life. Do I eat? So this is a question I get asked, but this is the first question I get asked. Um, Bahia, or Bahia, however you want to pronounce it, one is correct and one is incorrect. You can guess which one is which. Um, it's really, really long to make. Like, it's not quick. You can't just bang, it's done. It takes a really long time. And it's food for a big group of people. I'm a big eater. I eat a lot of food, but that's the one food that I can generally say I'm happy to share because I can't do it by myself. Um, do I eat a lot of it? No. Nope. Um, I'd say it's a sort of family thing or a group thing. If you go out for a meal on, on, a, on a Sunday, for example, you could see it as the equivalent of a roast. Do you eat a roast every day? No. Nope. Can I cook it? Yes, I can. No, it's a lie. I'm a good cook for me. I'm happy with what I eat because I choose to eat it, but I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm that guy. Right behind me, you can see this is Bay. You know, I come back to her every single night and um, you know, she's, she's always there for me. Always, always there for me. That's that's weird now, that's weird. Either way, siestas, no, it's, I'll explain it like this. If it is 35 degrees during the day and then at night it's 30 degrees, you're not gonna sleep for very long. In fact, you're gonna sleep for about four or five hours at the most, not comfortable sleep, just, sleep and when you wake up and you go to work the first chance that you get to sit down what happens you fall asleep and yeah we're going to do another blog about things that aren't so great about spain but yeah here's general questions let's do general questions what's the next question mm, it depends on the friend it depends on the family member now no, generally speaking i do i generally do and i probably don't admit it as much as I should. And I don't know why I just turned into a sheep. You, what you realize after moving away is that you 
meet some great people. Um, you make some amazing friends. But the difference between your new friends and your old friends is time, essentially. Uh, there are some things you can express to your best friend that you wouldn't express to a just a friend. And sometimes things happen to you that you say, okay, cool, I want to speak to someone. And you don't really feel that you can speak to, to the friend that you've just made because maybe you're just not at that level. So yeah, you do spend a lot of time Skyping and WhatsApping and WhatsApp calling, which never really works. I don't know why we had it, but still. So yeah, that's, that's a negative, I guess. But the plus side is I'm two hours away from home. Hey, if things get really, really rough, I just pack up and move out. If you liked it, I don't know why I'm clapping for. If you liked it, um, drop a like in the, in the place that always changes. I don't know what it is. Just gonna start feet popping and knocking. What am I even saying? I'm saying if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment or message me. Do whatever you want. I'm about somewhere. And that's it. I hope this time it was in focus. Jesus Christ. Recorded the whole I recorded the whole other one. It wasn't in focus. And now I can't really tell. Even though these glasses are telling me, yeah, it's fine. But yeah, hopefully I'll do some more videos when I get some more time. And speaking of more videos. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Isn't there a crisis? Like most things, it's not something that, I don't know, with the media you see it as a really, really, it is a serious matter, or it is a serious thing, but it's not a case of where are you going with the sentence.